Hello everybody, I have come to a place called Hendred Falls. Hendred Falls, I think, I don't know. Um, it, but it's in Wales and it's uh, in the uh, Brecon Beacons and it's rather nice so far. Although there's a really, really steep path down to what is going to be a waterfall. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to say hello and uh, to do a quick piece to camera because I can hear the waterfall from here. And when I get further down, if I don't slide further down and die horribly in screaming agony, um, I don't know whether or not I'm going to actually be able to do a piece to camera or not. So, you know, first world problems and all that. Um, but I'm here today, I've got my camera with me, I've got a tripod with me as well, and I'm going to try and take uh, a waterfall picture. Now this will be the first time that I've done uh, a waterfall picture, um, and I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go. The other thing I just want to mention, this is the very first of the videos that I've filmed uh, because of the whole uh, coronavirus thing. Uh, so these videos might actually end up being a little bit shorter uh, than I've done before, and I do apologise if that's the case not the intention. Uh, the intention is though to, to still do as, as many things as I can do in a day and that might mean cutting down just a little bit on time. Um, having said that I've probably rambled on far too much and I need to continue this incredibly steep descent that even Sherpa Tensing uh, would look twice at uh, to try and get to the falls. It was a very steep path down to the falls and I thought actually I would be the one who was doing the falling. Luckily I got down to the bottom of that very steep path only to find myself not a little worn out. So I've made it part of the way there. I tell you what, it's a really, really steep descent and then you get to the bottom only to realise that you've got to go uh, around a little bit of, uh, of woodland and then uh, you've got to go up a massive flight of stairs. Not the best uh, start uh, to a uh, what I was hoping would be a much more relaxed walk in the woods. Uh, but I did want to tell you perhaps why I've, why I've come here. Um, this is the tallest, I think, waterfall in Wales. It was also the um, waterfall that they use for the entrance of, of the Bat Cave in the Dark Night. So it's got a bit of providence beyond that. And apparently it's the easiest waterfall to get to in Wales, although as my legs are telling me right now, that's not true. I should say, I've noticed that I have this really big problem with my knees. Uh, my, my, the rest of my legs seem to be all right, but my knees in particular, were, that was really hurting as I was coming down, get down the, um, the path, and I'm a little bit worried about going back. Also, it's incredibly muddy from now on, so I'm gonna have to uh, put the camera away, and hopefully you'll join me when I'm actually taking a photograph. And so I continued my journey. I didn't take many pictures whilst I was walking down the path because really I was paying more attention to what was under my feet. But I did see a couple of shots that I thought might be interesting whilst I was on my way. The first was this uh, stone shot which has, I thought, quite an interesting grouping of moss on the surface, although when I got it back into Lightroom I thought perhaps this isn't the best image that I've put out there. But the second shot was this rather nice one of a tree backlit by the sun that was coming into the valley at the time. I have enhanced this slightly, I've uh, pulled up some of the colouring, some of the greens on there as well, and I've lit up those branches so you can really see the definition between the, uh, the backlighting and the moss that's on the tree. Actually, I quite like this and it's probably going to go end up on my Instagram feed. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear this because it's very loud here. Uh, but I have got the first composition uh, sorted out. Now, uh, you can see what I've done with the framing here um, with the video that's on screen right now because I kind of figured out how to do that. Uh, what I'm doing is I want a bit of foreground in here and actually this is going to be a fairly long picture anyway. I've got just to the, to the right, just to the here, uh, we've got a tree on the left hand side and that actually uh, is in sort of the, the, the far left of the uh, of the grid so it's kind of just in the middle of that but what I really wanted was this this bit here uh, to as a sort of lead in 
uh, to the waterfall. Now I've taken that and I've had to put it up to F16 because uh, there wasn't another way that I could do this comfortably. Uh, I've got it on uh, 1.6 seconds shutter speed and we're right down low on our ISO. We're at 50 ISO and I like to keep it at 50 uh, because there's as little grain there as possible and actually there are some very dark bits that I might want to recover uh, when I'm in Lightroom. So that's our very first shot. Now uh, most people I would think who come here uh, would go a bit further down this path. Um, um, if I'm going to do that I'm going to have to pack the whole camera up uh, as well which is a pretty a uh, pretty big job <laughs> and I've got an awful lot to do today uh, so I'm going to have to get on and see if I can get a different sort of shot although what I like about the shot that I've got here is that you can see the top of the waterfall you can see what's uh, uh, what's above it the waterfall is clearly uh, the, 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 the reason that you're taking this photo but you can see what's around it as well and if I go further down and I want to get some of those uh, uh, sort of rocks at the bottom then there's a good chance that I won't be able to get something like that uh, because I'd have to angle the camera in the wrong way. Anyway, I'm going to try and get down there now. We'll see how things go. Again, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm here with the second composition of the day. And I think, to be honest, this is going to be it. Now, I can put this up on screen again and you can see what I've got in the right hand side of the image here uh, we've got the waterfall uh, that's taking up the uh, right hand third of the of the uh, the photo um, because off center is good I'm just I'll throw that out there and along the bottom here uh, again uh, we've got some interest in, in there and I think there's stuff there that actually I'm going to be able to bring out uh, when I edit the photos uh, to be able to get something uh, interesting with it Settings are pretty similar to what we had before. I'm doing a bracketed shot again. We have got F16, we're at ISO 50 and I'm on 1.6 seconds shutter speed. So all of that's pretty st similar. And with the bracketed shot, it means I get three different shots. Um, the important thing with that is that one of them has got that really nice silky water and that the other one has got a little bit more definition in the water and that could be important when we actually get back into uh, Photoshop or into Lightroom and actually try and get an interesting image out of it. Well that's it from me right now and I think what I'm going to do actually is head back to the car where okay, it's a bloody steep climb where I'll probably do like a final piece to camera uh, for this video and then you can see the actual shots that I got from this uh, this photo trip. I didn't make it back to the car that day. Uh, once I'd finished at the waterfall I met another photographer and they said uh, actually a quicker way up the falls there was a staircase up that took you right to the, the a lower car park. Well the staircase killed me. I got about a third of the way up and my legs went and I just I couldn't move. It was an absolute nightmare. So the next time I went out with a camera, which is now, I thought I would um, uh, do a little piece just to say I didn't make it back to the car. That was that was absolutely it was awful. I was I was in bed for a day afterwards. Uh, I was sick when I got back to the car. It was really, really bad. Um, however, however, uh, I think the shot that I got and the shot that I edited from the waterfall, I'm super pleased with. And it's already been on social media. It's already on my Instagram feed. And I've had some really, really good responses from it with one person saying that if I put it in my shop as a, as a print, then they'd actually, and of course, if they had money, because that's always a consideration, that they actually might have bought it. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good sign for me. That's it for this particular video. Um, I'll see you in the voiceover. Yes, because we still have one final thing left to do, and that's to show you the edited shot from Hendred Falls. Now, I wanted to play on the provenance of the location and really bring that dark and gritty look into the waterfall initially. You know, that, that Batman look. But as I edited the piece, I found that there was something else hidden in there as well. So I added in some blue into the water and some turquoise into the surroundings. And hopefully uh, you get this sort of fantasy style waterfall effect. Anyway, that's what I was going for and personally 
I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for this video, but please don't forget to leave a like and a comment because they really mean a lot to me. And next week I'm going to show you the steps that I took to get this image looking like it does. It was quite a heavy edit, so it should be an interesting video. And if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to get reminders every time I release a new video. And also don't forget that there's going to be a weekly chat midweek and a business chat on Friday. Don't miss those either. I think those series are both turning into something quite useful and I hope you, you get a lot out of them as well. But for now, from me, goodbye and do make sure that you're doing your best to stay safe.